Hello everyone, it's Daniel with Website Candy, and I was looking through my YouTube back office, the back area, and I seen where somebody asked a comment. Can't remember exactly where it was, but the comment's not there anymore. Uh, I would post it here on the screen. However, um, they asked the question of how do you add those spaces between your doc? And I've already done one right here, and as you can see it, I'm going to add it right down in here. I want to just do my little um, Mac Finder by itself, and then I want to add another little space between my Adobe products, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my terminal, and I'm going to open my terminal up, and I'm using Jump Cut. It's a cool little tool, and I'm going to hit Command-Shift-J for my uh jump cut application if you don't know about jump cut look through my videos or matter of fact i'll link it right here um, in the little card and you can see what's going on there i'm gonna just hit enter right there with the code which will be down below the code is in the description and then i'm going to add another code to my terminal command shift j and i'm gonna shift through that um get that off my screen uh shift j and i'm gonna add killer doc and then I hit that and my screen kind of flashes and it kind of comes over and does what you need it to do as far as exposing a brother. And um, there's another space right there. All right. So real simple. I'm going to do it again. OK, so let's go ahead and say Command Shift, Command Shift J. And I want this code right here, which is down in the description. And I hit enter and then I hit Command Shift J. Okay, and I'm going to add the killer doc and just hit enter right there. And when I get down there, I am able to add another space. So now I have uh, my next space here, which is going to be um, right in this area. I got four applications and I can say Apple Mail. And then I have Safari. I want Safari to the far left. And then I want to just drag this over here. And I want to drag this over here. And let's go ahead and I use these apps right here quite commonly um, together. Let's go ahead and add Apple's settings right here as well. And honestly, I should just go ahead and just mirror what I have on my other computer. Because I'm always confused. I'm like, oh, God, where's this? And where's that? And where's this and this, that? Let's do it one more time together. And uh, we can see how it works there. So I'm going to hit enter after I put the first code in. And then I'm going to go to my shortcut. And then I'm going to drop the killer doc in there and just hit enter. And everything pops back on the screen. And you see we have another space down in here that I can kind of just kind of cut things off. And I can say my calendar, my address book first, my calendar. Then we have the notepad. And then we have the uh, reminders. And then we have photos. And then we have news, which I don't really use. Then we have iTunes. Then we have the maps. And these are like Apple native apps. I don't use messages on this computer. Um, podcasts I do, TV and the settings is kind of cool. So let's add one more together. I promise this is the last time, okay? It's so easy. It's real simple. Oh, I didn't mean to add that there. So let's go ahead and close terminal, open back up terminal. And once I get this terminal opened up, um, I'll be able to drop this in here real quickly, real easily. We at terminal, we at, we at, we at. You're making my people wait. I don't like it. Okay, we'll drop that there. Hit enter. Command shift J. And then we do killer doc. All right, and we got that right there. And we have another space here. So now we can just add a space right there. And as you can see, now we have, you know, all of our Apple native apps. And then we have basically. Um, this guy right here. We got a double space right there. So I'm going to add that space right there. And then we want to keep that space. And you can, if you don't like these spaces, you can also take them up here and you drag them out. And as you can see right there on the mountain, it says remove, but I don't want to remove it. I want to keep it and it's going to stay there. So it's pretty cool, really simple. Uh, these are just like temporary apps that I've used recently. And uh, it's pretty simple, pretty easy. It's really fun. It's kind of helps you organize your life and helps you organize everything. So give it a try. And like I mentioned before, look down below. Um, if you haven't done so, here's your opportunity to subscribe. All right. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.